हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज दर पंडित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एम ई पी टेक्निकल वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वील लर्न अबाउट बेसिकली हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दी लाइट ओके लाइट कैलकुलेसन सो इन दिस वीडियो वील ओनली फोकस ऑन बेसिक्स लाइट पैरामीटर ओके सो बिफोर डिजाइन दी लाइट फिक्सर्स बेसिकली हाउ Uh, many light fixture required for particular area we need to know the uh, basic parameters of the uh, lights okay so in this part only we will focus on this parameter okay so before we start the session i would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so here we are going to calculate the uh, light fixture for this classroom okay so this is the classroom 1 and this is the classroom 2 okay so before the calculation uh, as we have to know the basic parameter of the light so uh, first we'll go for a uh, basic parameter then in next part we'll go for calculation part okay so here we have a uh, some uh, lighting terms okay so this is the lighting terms where we have a lumens and lux so basically what is a uh, lumens and lux so the lumen is the si derived unit of the luminous flux so basically what is lumen a measure of the total quantity of visible light which is emitted by the source per unit time okay so we can say this is the visible light which is emitted by the source source means light fixer okay bulb okay and its unit is lm similarly lux is used to measure the amount of light output in given area okay so 1 lux equal to 1 lumen per square meter okay so these are the two terms okay so we have a different uh, lux level for different areas okay as per standard so uh, when we are going to select the light fixer or purchase the light we have to remember the flowing parameters like lumens per watt which is actually efficiency of the light fixer okay then we have to monitor the power factor level then cri value which is color rendering index okay then color temperature okay so now come to first parameter so basically what is lumen per watt means efficiency what does it mean this parameter used to measure the brightness of the light or bulb actually on this parameter what we can judge this bulb or this light how much brightness can give if the lumens per watt is higher it means uh, it gives the more brightness as compared to low lumen per watt value okay so here we have a uh, three company which is manufacturer of light fixture okay a b c and what is of all bulb or we can say all light fixture is same and lumen for for a company lumen per watt efficiency value is 110 according to that how much lumen would be so multiply with this with what is so total how much lumen it will provide 990 lumens okay similarly for b company so this is 100 lumen for 9 watt similarly for c 70 lumen per watt so this much of light it can produce according to the according to the manufacturer so now as you can see over here what is electrical consumption of all light is are same 9 watt but if we pay for this 9 watt we will get 
this much of lumens it means it will more bright than this C or B company or electrical consumption is according to this wattage but we have to consider this lumen total lumen okay per watt consumption this will give 110 <coughs> lumen this will give 100 and this will give 70 so which is better light this one a one a manufacturer okay because lumen is high as compared to both b and c okay so we will always go for higher lumen okay now come to power factor so we always go for higher value of power factor as you know that maximum power factor value is one so we always go for near to one okay 0 0.99 is better okay and color rendering index so what is color rendering index so a rating index commonly used to represent how well a light source renders the colors of object that illuminates actually what is this this value represent actually when we install the light okay having cri value suppose 100 then for here 90 then for here 80 and for here 70 when we install the light having a color rendering cri index value 70 if we look into this apple so we will not able to view its actual color of this apple we cannot judge the color of this apple so actual color of this apple okay similarly for clothes when we are going to buy the clothes in the shop if we have a light like this value we cannot confirm the exact color of the clothes okay so we might be confused whether this color is this or not okay similarly for if we increase 7 to 280 we will come to more visible okay towards the our objects like apple or clothes then again if we increase will more clear to our objects so if we have a value like 100 cri it means we can clearly observe the actual color of the object like apple even we can select the exact color of the clothes in the shop okay so we will always go for higher value so 100 cri is better okay as compared to these lows cri so when we are going to purchase the lights or select the lights what we recommend go for cr value like near to 100 okay then come to color temperature so this will give the lights color okay according to this value so where we have a uh, started from 3000 k means kelvin okay up to four so we we have a uh, three colors like we can say warm light bright white light and daylight so when uh, if we need a warm light then we go for 3000 to 4000 kl okay for bright light we go for 5000 k okay and for daylight or we can say cool light we go for 700 7000 k so this is the parameter for light color okay so these are the terms uh, we which we have to know before selecting or purchasing the light fixture okay now come to formula so this is the formula okay for calculation the number of light fixture required in particular area okay so this is the lumen method for light fixture calculation so n equal to so n equal to e into a divided by mf into ef into phi into a small n okay so what are these factor let's come to here so where e is illuminance means lux level okay this is the lux level which is required in 
particular area which we are going to calculate the light fixture okay then a a is area of premises where light will be fixed means the area where we are going to calculate the light fixture okay so mf mf means maintenance factor okay then uf means utilization factor then phi means lamp output which is lumen lumen per watt okay then n is a small n is number of light in a fixture suppose uh, what happened we have a single fixture type also available if we have a light set okay but there there are two lights in a one set so a small n value will be here two nodes if we have a three bulbs inside it then three okay so this is these are the terms so during the calculation of light fixture we have to use this formula and this parameter we have to get the value from catalog and okay so here these are the parameters i have already discussed about what is phi means uh, uh, lamp output lumens the lumen is the si derivative unit of lumen flux a measure of total quantity of visible light which is emitted by the source per unit time okay so this is the uh, quantity of light visible light which is emitted by the light fixer okay for per unit time then e is illuminance lux level okay so uh, for different area we have a different lux level okay so lux is a used to measure the amount of light output in a given area so one lux is equal to one lumen per square meter okay and here we have a maintenance factor so uh, mf id terms you to account the reduction in illuminance of the luminaries over the maintenance period suppose uh, why we have to consider this maintenance factor means if we buy the light at a beginning this will give more light but after certain period or after certain time like one month two months three months or year it will get reduce so this is the reduction of light so we have to consider this mf factor as well while calculating the light fixture okay so as per general thumb rule uh, take mf value is equal to 0.8 okay it is less than or equal to 1 and typical value used for lighting calculation are okay for uh, offices and classroom we we have to consider 0 0.8 and for clean industry we can consider 0 0.7 value for dirty industry we can consider 0 0.6 okay so as per environment uh, life of a bulb will be decreased means now come to utilization factor so what is utilization factor so uf takes account of the loss of the light due to absorption on the room of surface so uh, dependence factor is types of luminaries room index reflection of the room surface actually what is this utilization factor suppose this is the room okay so as per color color also uh, what happened light will be absorbed by this color so so this will be also reduction in the luminaries so we have to consider this factor also okay room surface what type of room is rough surface plain surface accordingly what happened light will get absorbed by these surfaces so for uh, general thumb rule while calculating the light fixture so we can consider these values okay so for room with bright color wall and ceiling we can consider uf value 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 and for room with dark colored walls and ceiling we can consider the uf value 0 0.4 okay so while calculating the uh, light fixture we can use this value according to this room condition okay so here we have a 
lux standard level so while calculating the light fixture for classroom we have to take the lux level from this table so we have a here a standard for a school so assembly hall we can consider 300 lux level while calculating the light fixture and for platform and stage special lighting classroom and all class for classroom we can consider 500 lux level and for teaching space 300 and board area 500 laboratories 500 workshop 300 and gymnasium 300 and music practice rooms 300 so these, these are the uh, lux standard value when we are going to calculate the uh, light fixer we have to consider this value so this is the standard value similarly we have for uh, hospital uh, commercial building residential area uh, lux level of different building or premises is different so we can uh, take the lux level standard lux level value from the chart while calculating the light fixer okay so in this video we have uh, go through basics of light parameter basically when we are going to calculate the light fixer we have to consider this we have to understand this factor okay so in next video we will uh, basically focus on the calculation part basically how much light how many light fixer is required in classroom okay so hope you guys understand about basic terms of lights okay so thank you for watching this video so please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video